no one could have failed to notice the icy message left on social media by His Royal Highness Prince William, the Duke of Cambridge, to his once close brother, Prince Harry. But what was the real reason behind that very dripping in ice message? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the heart of London. As ever, I do thank you for joining me. Thank you for choosing this channel and thanks so much for all your support. It's truly appreciated. As I say, I do love reading your comments. Sometimes this is why I look so tired. I've got to tell you, I'm reading them late into the night. But for those that receive those hearts and for those that don't, it's not that there's special favours or anything like that. It's truly, we're all exhausted, of course, bringing you all the latest breaking and exclusive Royal News live here from London. But back as ever as I say to your royal story of the day well as we know it's been a big week for Prince Harry <laughs> not because of course he's been deemed hairdresser of the year after standing behind his much now seemingly same size wife Meghan Markle in that now infamous Times um, photo shoot or Time magazine photo shoot what a strange picture can you imagine actually signing that off and thinking yep I look good in that Anyway, back to the main story in question, and a more serious note, in fact, because as we saw, Prince William did wish his younger brother, Prince Harry, a happy birthday on social media, as did all members of the senior British royal family, some dripping in ice, some not. But what was interesting, I particularly felt, was this. On past occasions, there would have been more of a jokey feel, you know, something about getting older, that sort of stuff. But we can see from that message just how serious the damage Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have caused his elder brother alongside, of course, his wife, Catherine, uh, Duchess of Cambridge. Now, here's the reason why, according to close sources at Kensington Palace, remember, you hear it here first. A good source tells me simply this, that there are going to be no talks until Prince Harry decides to ditch the one thing that really is antagonising not just him but of course other senior members of the British Royals. And the one thing that's really antagonising them all is this plan tell all book. Now basically what's been fed back to Prince Harry is, hey we're ready to talk, we're ready to move forward and be the empathetic and of course friendly touchy feely people that you want us to be but you have to do one thing, ditch the book. Now, as we've told you here many times on the show, it's going to be very difficult for Prince Harry to ditch the book because, first of all, he claims he needs the money. Can't really see how that's uh, a big issue. What happened to all the money left to him by his late mother, Princess Diana? A bit of a strange one, that, looking into that. Now, what's interesting also is, senior sources tell me that so far they've had no request as to whether both princes will get back together at some point. But that is the very stern message that Prince William is sending out to his brother. And as you can imagine, it's one that really, if he was clever, he should sort of think, OK, you know, let's draw a line under the rest of the mess and move forward and try and reconcile at some point, particularly given the very busy royal year that looms. I'll keep you posted as to whether this does move forward, but let me tell you first an exclusive here on the show. There will be no talks until somebody decides to ditch the thing that Prince William and indeed Prince Charles fear the most. Neil Sean in the heart of London.